Hello and welcome back to what is this? Caves of Code. <laughs> you discover some forgotten ruins. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, you should. No, um, there's a. I, I had possibly one of the m closest to deaths in the in any series, and um, yeah, it was it was pretty brutal. There's some kind of legendary uh, dervish, some kind of mental mutate, mutant, and I couldn't see them. They were behind a wall, but they could see me. What the heck is this? Lecturer's Stained Band. Ooh, that's 1AV1DV. Grants you clairvoyance? What? What? Oh, it means taking off one of our really good armbands, though. Um, can we just put this in a, in a hand? Uh, that doesn't seem to count. Well, why don't we just put it in our, for, uh, replace our forest bracelet for now. Remove. Gives us clairvoyance. That's quite nice, actually. And that's going to be buffed a couple times because of my ego. Wow, that was a find. Uh, I cooked a great meal, and um, yeah, we almost died. There's a legendary me mental mutant, and they almost froze me. I couldn't move. I had no blaze injectors. I had no means. Um, I <laughs> debatable that I even like had much to do with my survival. There they are. I am not messing around with that. That is. A nightmare. I wouldn't mind, um... I, I don't even want to look at that screen, to be honest. I kind of want to just go here just to mark it. Journal. This place already has a name, does it? Dunanip. Uh, rename location. I'd like to rename it. Delete, delete. <laughs> insert? Wonder, insert. Entry text. Um, legend dervish. Okay. We'll come back to that. I'll come back when I'm a bit more prepared. But yeah, that that was a nightmare. In Murray, honestly, like I'm, I'm, I feel unsafe now. <laughs> uh, let's put the clairvoyance closer to the end. That's a pretty good bubble. That's a respectable clairvoyance bubble. We have turrets. I can deal with turrets. Nice thing about turrets, actually, uh, this is, well, we don't have dueling stance, do we? Can we take dueling stance? I don't think we can. No, it's 200. Okay, so we can't swipe guns out of their hands yet. Oh, our en genome enters an excited state. Uh, oh, right, level 15, okay, cool. Let's throw that onto Stinger. So uh, level 11 now. Swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. So what is our stinger at now? It must be like late game now. Uh, I guess it's still at eight because I put some levels into it and that means it's not actually, it's capped out at eight right now. It's not actually gonna look any better for a while. So yeah, it's capped at eight. There's a turret I keep running by. Let's, uh, let's go deal with that turret. And we also get some cider for our trouble. No, not a cider? No cider, okay. Alright, let's leave this place. Pretty sure this is the right tile. Could be wrong about that. I'm starting to lose track, to be honest. You're famished. 
We were also inspired. Um, let's cook with... We already have a really good meal. We have a very good meal. It would be kind of nice to have a better meal, but I don't know if I should be, like, very picky choosy. Let's do, like, cured Dawn Glider Tail. And that's it. Uh, I guess we'll do, like, crab jerky. And sure, why not? Cider. Whenever you deal fire damage, whenever you take damage. And then quickness, max HP, and heat resist. Perfect. The perfect meal for fighting dong gliders. Cool. Um, looks like... Oh, that's a mysterious stranger fighting the Isakari. Uh, are we just hitting, uh, reaching nighttime? I'm not even going to get to use our, me our meal. Oh, there's some uh, valuable junk here. It's probably another slime, yeah. And another slime. Okay, I guess uh, we'll hit... We'll go into highlight mode for a bit. Slime bog. Ooh, there's some cloning draught. Heck yeah, bud. There's a little bit of cloning draught. Love, love a slime bog with some cloning draught. You know what would be the worst is if the slimes, the giant amoebas, had like this built-in AI that would like, whenever there's cloning draught on the screen, you know, they have a chance to just like run over and drink it and become a second amoeba. <laughs> Alright, we've collected it in our camel bladder. Heck yeah, bud. That's a really good find. We already have, like, some of what we need to... For, for late game, basically. We have some sap as well. This is sap, right? Yeah, collect that. We got some sap. And a mysterious stranger. Are we on good terms? Yeah, we are. Let's go talk to them, make friends, break bread, you know. Dislike by Snapjaws. We can 100% make friends with you. I have some secrets. Um, How come my Mechanimist rep is so low? Did I, like, kill a Mechanimist? I must f be forgetting that. What kind of uh, trade goods do you have? Oh, you have an Eater's Nectar Injector. Um, I'm, uh, well, it's only 200. I could probably afford to just buy it. Do I want to, though? I don't really have that much to buy. Mm, and I don't really want to ruin our meal right now. I'll buy it. Let's see, let's see how much I can drum up here. We have a second force bracelet. I don't need two of those. We'll sell one force bracelet and a bioscanning. Well, the bioscanning bracelet is apparently worthless. May as well just disassemble that. We could sell a few books. I don't like doing that. I want to use the books. We could sell all of our cured Dawn Glider tail. That'll get us a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I don't really have any trade goods. We have this cider, but I am kind of enjoying cooking with it. We have this hover sled. We could co uh, trade that. Because I don't see myself using it anytime soon. But even then, with all of that, we're not even close. Could sell the drum-loaded carbine since I am going to be getting another th one of those later. And the maintenance card, uh, maintenance card is fine, but not exactly worthwhile since we know how to cook with bananas. Just caves of cud stuff, you know. And I guess after that, we could just like sell like one book. One book for an eater's nectar injector and some sal salves to make up for that horrifying 
uh, encounter earlier. And I'll just do a auto explore. And um, I'm hoping I, I guess I'm already hungry. So I guess I should have just cooked with the, my, my lovely meal, uh, you know. Let me see though. Uh, I'm gonna choose. Let's let's cook with a drop of nectar. I don't have any other things to cook with. Nothing happened. That's fine. We don't expect that to happen very often. Um, we'll preserve our horse shrooms and our eater's nectar, and then we'll cook with our eater's nectar. Almost selected the cloning draught. That would have been bad. Nothing happened. Okay, that's fine. We got lucky on our first draw, so that means we're, you know, we're bound to have a couple unlucky draws. But better to try it than not. Uh, I guess I've already leveled up. I'm at level 15, so our Dawn Glider is still 375 XP each. I just I should just have a hot key for like fire at the next the last fire at target I wonder well because then I have to reload right so then yeah they're still worth 375 so we may as well make up some of the trade goods we just lost I'm no longer going to be fight Ooh, um, an ad eye isn't that an ad eye oh yeah it is and it's a mechanimus convert well, with the inspiration to cook with a mouth-watering meal, I don't plan on doing so, really. Kind of have everything I need. Oh, you know what? That was a good screen for fighting dog gliders. I'll go back into uh, highlight mode, by the way, because you don't need to see this stuff. Okay, we just hit the top of the map, so I'm just going to go back down. Oh, we've got our first bait hole. Hello, Beethel. Bring me five items of terrifying visage. That's doable. That is actually not the worst Beethel quest that I've ever been given. We do have a turret. What do we got here? Steel dagger, a musket, some bear jerky. I'll collect those despite my better interest. Took a little bit of damage. Our AV, as I say, is like really piss poor. You discover some forgotten ruins. We have a um, electrofuge. They can actually do some pretty nasty damage to us. So we'll just like not take damage from them. We've got another turret. We've got Isakari. I really should get some better AV. I'm a little bit worried about that, I won't lie. We've got a lot of star apples, which is nice. I missed and I destroyed the other turret, which is fun. We've got centipedes. which there's not really any point to fighting those anymore. Legendary Mechanimus Pilgrim. I wonder what's the journal entry for this one? Um, did I, did I go down and make friends with this one or enemies? I feel like maybe this is why I have my Mechanimus reputation is so low. Uh, you know, we should make a quick trip to the six day stilt. I'm tempted to hand in my Russia floor, but I think it would be a bad idea at this point. We do have a Dromad. I, did, I completely missed that. Oh, wow. Crystal gauntlets. Are those worth it right now? I don't think I can afford those. We have an arc winder. 
We've got some good stuff here. Uh, I wouldn't mind buying crystal gauntlets, but I don't think that they're actually very worth it right now. Like they they are worth it, but I don't I don't have the means to buy them. I guess I well yeah I don't trust. Well we got our first neutron flux. I don't trust that I can. Um, that I can actually beguile a Dromad. I think their willpower is quite high for exactly that reason. We've got an engraved and painted bottle with some Reshef lore. Very tempting to buy that or uh, try and scam this Neutron Flux. Um, I don't know. Our ego is pretty high. I think that it would be increased by our, our sorry, our, I, I think that the beguiling would be increased by our, our ego, but I don't know if that's necessarily the big problem here. The big problem is honestly, once I have this new trend flux, I'm going to be holding on to it for a while. I don't know if I trust myself to use it when I don't have precognition. I know it's only a 10% chance of dying, but it's still a 10% chance. Um, it would be one of the best means of getting a lot of AV while keeping our DV. Uh, I don't know. Let me come back to that thought. Does the snail farmer have anything new? Homo electric wrist warmer. Is that where those come from? Do those come from snails? What do we got at our skim drafter? Anti-gravity boots, eigen pistol. Someone was saying that these are really good for uh, rainbow wood. Eigen rifle is a nice find, but I don't really want to make that. I want to just get it. We're really, honestly, what we care about from skim drafters are uh, good modifications. That's like the main thing we care about. That's the main thing I care about anyway. We've got a chef. Let's see what the chef's got. We'll take congealed congealed love. We'll take bone meal. We'll take salve. We'll take cycle gland paste. Fire and gaster paste would be good if I can learn how to make um, blaze injectors. Apparently I'm going to need those. Well, I always need those. You always need those. Um, we can sell most of our cured Dawn Glider tail for this. Cool. I have uh, apparently not fully explored this zone. Now we have. And let me tell you, it was not worth it. All right. Well, that was basically a waste of time. Um, let's do our drop a chest and put our books in it uh oh no f2 oh we're already in that mode um okay so boop 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 oh that's it transfer all right there's our first load of books a humble a humble load but a load. Someone's gonna make it weird. I can't really stop them. Okay, um... I am not really sure where we're at. I'm gonna use the night time to figure it out. Okay, we're, we know that we've explored this layer. This place is apparently explored. This place is not. And this place is not. What about the left side here? This place is not. Okay, so we're on this one. I assume this is... Oh, we had a Droman Caravan. Plaster for Bonnet is kind of nice and would give us some resistances. What is our current hat? Oh, I mean, I really like this snail shield, though. We actually have some fairly not terrible mollusk rep. I wouldn't mind buying that... 
rubber gum injector because apparently rubber gum injectors are useful who knew you know like who who freaking knew i'm just gonna go ahead and sell all of our cured dawn glider tail and i'll wait till daytime and we'll go ahead and go back into highlight mode So apparently I have to cook a new meal with Dawn Glider Tail to get the heat resist because I made the stupid mistake of cooking with crab jerky, which I don't have any. But hey, there's there's our meal again. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll take that and I'm going to go ahead and set that as a favorite. I'm trying to like be proactive about um setting things as favorite because i don't want to have to uh i guess it's not showing up right now i don't know why not where is our bear jerky is that it right there yeah that is uh i don't want to have to like sift through recipes in the future and it's better to do it like when it's fresh um oh we've got some dong gliders here it's better to do it while you're you've just gotten the recipe so you don't have to deal with it especially in the early game when you, you know there's not nearly as many recipes to sift through ah albino ape we're on good terms with apes so far disliked by dogs hated by trolls what's our ape rep zero um we're gonna come back to this one legend ape troll rep uh I, I guess like enemy to trolls and then that tells me first of all that it's they, i probably want to kill this ape and also um why oh we have another dromad caravan what do you got you've got some engraved spectacles do we have any decent gloves right now? We don't have any gloves. So plastic for gloves, oh, they're really expensive. You have both a Hulk honey and a skulk. They have some nice stuff, honestly. And an herberry. Wouldn't mind having an herberry. Um. Hmm. I mean, I can't, I can't really buy any of this. I don't, I don't have any money right now. That's a dang shame. Slime bug. And more cloning draught. Wow. Getting really lucky with that cloning draught, I gotta say. The, it's not a guaranteed thing to appear on a slime bog. It's, uh, it's... I think even like it's it's a, it's a fairly low chance but hey uh, we have now two cloning draughts and a metamorphic polygel so we could start um, well I, I would want to get more cloning draught than two before I start copying them but still we're, we're getting there What do you mean there's nothing else worth exploring? What what about all this trash? Why aren't you auto getting the trash? Weird. You discover some forgotten ruins. What do we got? Well, we got a dong glider. We're hungry, so I don't think we have that heat resistance anymore. Oh, that made us enemies to the salamander. That's fine. Oh, free, free Hulk honey and a copper nugget. Nice. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And you know what? We're going to continue... <clears throat> We're going to continue cooking that specific meal. Because it's very nice. Extra quickness is always good. Um, 
and uh plus four quickness somehow makes her quickness like an extra 10 i don't know how that works but anyway yeah it's a it's a really nice meal extra extra resistance protection from dawn gliders it's a good meal to have while we're cooking up some dawn gliders Oh wow, you're right there. We're getting pretty close to a level up. You might notice I'm like not given a single heck about um, doing Golgotha before level 12. I think I mentioned this in... Uh, ooh. Have we already made friends? Disliked by villagers, can a little hated by flowers. I'm pretty sure we already spoke. But we don't have any more... We don't have any oil. Ah, uh, we definitely spoke because uh, you have some of my daggers. Okay. I must have gotten accidentally switched onto another lane at some point. But yeah, I, I don't care about the rewards for completing Golgotha early. Because it's silly like the masterwork scoped carbine real it's a really nice weapon and you know i think if you can cheese golgotha if you can do golgotha safely um then it means a lot like if you had for instance uh mollusk rep that counts for a lot um if you know you'll be friends with a slog you know that that counts for a lot if you have your recipe that cures ailments that counts for a lot and of course there's a new skill tree and i know i had like one disgruntled uh comment about how it it kind of nerfs Gol golgotha it kind it does kind of but also um we were already if you knew what you're doing like nerfing it ourselves tbih and like all this means is that you can instead spend skill points to do the same to do very much the same like i think that what's going on there is that the caves of code devs are recognizing that you know people found a a means to shortcut the quotation marks like worst part of golgotha um which was getting sick and so they've provided an alternative means in case you don't want to spend all of your time trying to make the recipe like uh you know if you want to get an idea of like the mind frame of the de development for Caves of Code, you should watch the cutting with devs Brian with Brian Bucklew, um, because that uh, like Brian talked a lot about like at a certain point um, something is just not fun. Like if you have to play the numbers game an, uh, like long enough then that's not very fun it's not very interesting and so we'd rather just like balance it so that you don't have to do that so like the player doesn't have to sit there and make 50 recipes to ensure that they don't get glot rot getting glot rot is funny like once it's something you want to avoid basically in every future playthrough especially since it completely hard stops you from progressing in any kind of quest line like it really does just like put a brick wall on the storyline and the you know one thing that has remained true um from the devs wow we're missing a lot um and like i think a point of very weird contention from a lot of players has always been like they the 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 devs want you to be able to do the quest they want you to do the story partially because you know it's fun and partially because they put a lot of work into the quest and they don't want a player to like get to a point where it's like you know they killed an npc or they got glot rot and they can't do the quest that's it's stupid you know like it's funny you know it's funny it's funny when like Mehmet goes and beats the crap out of uh you know the warden it's funny once and maybe funny a few times because mostly because it's like the first five seconds of the game and it really just doesn't matter right but what's not funny is playing a game of caves of cud for like maybe eight hours 
like a ridiculous amount of hours sometimes in order to to progress through the storyline and then having like q girl die so you can't you know progress the storyline or you get glot rot and you can't progress the storyline so you know if you ever like i have fairly low tolerance for the whining when it comes to like oh i wish you could kill q girl or uh you know in, in this case, like, uh, I wish they hadn't nerfed Golgotha. Golgotha's already hard, you know? It, it doesn't need to be harder. And they didn't really nerf it. All they did was make, put a, a skill point wall that allows you to cure your ailments. You don't have to pay for that. You can still play the numbers game, like I am, because, you know, I'm used to it and I enjoy it. We got a village. Um... Speak to Meshra Gashem. So anyway, those those are my thoughts. I, I think that... Uh, I think it's fine. I, I think it's actually a good change. Because it's... Uh, inevitably, it's a, it's a change away from playing a num numbers gambit. Do you have to work that needs doing? Oh, you want me to go to a layer of a legendary glow pad? Oh, no, you have to follow the river that passes through the layer north. Um, spoke of an intriguing place, Kenelil. Don't I already know Ken Kenelil? I thought I already located Kenelil. Maybe that was a different Kenelil. Okay, well, let's do this real quick. Um, layers. We probably already know some layers. Legendary Naphtali Forager. Oh, that would be kind of nice to check that out, actually. Oh, it's in the jungle. Deep, well, not deep jungle, but it's in the jungle. Um, I guess it's going to be a layer that I haven't visited yet. Or maybe it's not, actually. It seems to me that they told me. So I'm going to have to memorize the name here. Ruslar Lesherub. Rus Lar Lasharab. Do 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 do. Where is it? Huh? Do I have to find the layer as well? Oh no, there it is. Rare of Lus Rus Lar Lashrub. Okay, um it's right there. There's a couple of them highlighted. Oh, that's the fungal forest. We can uncheck um, that. Natural features, uncheck the fungal forest. That was like the first quest I was given. Let's go to the legendary drum ad. We may as well check out. Ooh, is that an advertisement? Oh, it's a council of gamma rock. Let's, uh, let's check out this place. We may as well. Drum, uh, the glow pad may be friends with flowers. We could make friends with flowers, potentially. Oh, they're right there. He loved by flowers, hated by the Gersh. Oh, it really sucks that I continue to not make friends with the Gersh, because they have some cool stuff going on now. But we are at negative 800 Gersh, so let's just decide to be not on good terms with the Gersh and make some friends with uh, flowers. Apparently, they will teach you persuasion, which is interesting. We don't have any secrets that this glow pad is interested in. Free Blaze Injector. Wow. Ask and you will receive. Um... I don't want to fight the, those jilted lovers. It will make us enemies to this entire layer. And um, I guess we could just do a little bit more exploring. Nah, I think I'm good actually, because I really don't want to have to fight all those glow pads. But we have to follow the river that goes north. Apparently it's a salt river. And then it turns into a regular river. Interesting. There it is. Can a little... Uh-oh. Oh, is this just another village? 
we seem to be on okay terms with these people. Uh, Snapjaws and goat folk joining hand in hand. I, there might be more stuff we can do here. We learned some Reshev lore, which is nice. Okay, um, ooh, we've got a legendary Snapjaw. Warrior loved by the villagers of Kenalil, disliked by the villagers of Shawar. I think we're already not on great terms with Shawar, so let's go ahead and make friends with Kenil. Kenil. Um, do you have any work that needs doing? Find Bor, Bor Ufo. Thank you. All right, Bor Ufo. Bor, Bor Ufo. Uh, where are you? Oh, legendary Snapjaw Warlord. Looking for work. Traveler, are you acquainted with the Farmersian clay pitcher at a Snapjaw fort? It is hallowed. Uh, it is a hallowed altar to us. Often we make pilgrimages to drink from it and can contemplate the farmer's guilt. It would honor us if you would do it too, will you? We'll pay you for your labor. Sure. Uh, are there any other legendaries worth breaking bread with? Yes. Loved by the villagers of Kenalil and Snapjaws. Disliked by one village. Go ahead and make friends with this one. I'm going to need to make friends with one village, you know. They'll teach us Star Apple and Mats. Oh, oh, give me a second. All right. Well, we're almost done here. Um, let me see here. Do we? We already did all of our quests here. Did I? Did I hand them in? Sorry, it's been a, a minute. Literally a minute. So I I've forgotten everything. Um, I made friends with this one. Was I about to make friends with this one? Oh, I already made friends with them. Um, go to Borfo. I haven't drank from the farm farm farmersian clay pitcher. Okay, so let's just go back to the other village. Where are some ruins? Sure, we'll check out some ruins real quick. Ulil. I'm sure we'll come back to Ulil, but we'll come back here. And talk to the legendary Salt Kraken, and I've located Kenil, Kenilil. Our thanks, Nomad. Our village owes you a debt. For now, please choose a reward. 1,000 XP, completed a quest. Get some rep. Advertisements for a legendary shoemaker and a legendary hatter. Random point recorded. Well, that's actually quite worth it. And the reason being is it's not like we care at all about... A legendary hatter or a legendary shoemaker, but they will both have reputation with the merchant guild um, and also They may also have sell advertisements for other um, Potentially worthwhile merchants So we'll read this one east and one north of Golgotha and this one is one, 11 east and 3 north of Eid Freehold. Okay, so that's like in the moon stair Almost. Uh, no, never mind. Unless that's not it, but I, I seem, I think I see it. Have they spruced up the moon stair? Because some of these tiles look new to me. They look new. Forgotten ruins. Is that it there? Hydropon. Where is it? Oh, that must be it. Nope. That's not it either. Uh, there's a historic site. Goat Folk Haunt. Where is it? Oh, there it is. No, that's a Naftali Forger. Where, where the heck is it? Um, well, so... We have another, uh, historic site we could check out. Shawan Homestead. Um, and I think that's in the canyons. So we could check that out. We could, uh, one thing we should do real quick is I'm going to go to south of Red Rock. We're lost. That's fine. I'm going to go to south of Red Rock and then check out the ruins of Jopa. Oh, wow. It's Chitness Puma, huh? Two Chitness Puma. There must be a legendary Gnu here. And there is, in fact, a legendary Gnu here. 
Uh, loved by antelopes, disliked by the villagers of Karuk. Sure. We'll share a dram. That was apparently one of the villages that we just visited, so now we are slightly less liked by them. That's fine. I like antelope rep. Um, Chitness Pumas are making their way to me, but they're going to be distracted by some legendary... Uh, legendary Gnus. Oh yeah, we're... Up. Are, we're we're uh, actually okay uh, with unshelled reptiles. Not good enough, but getting there. We're at least okay with crocs. Crocs are cool. Uh, I think we're getting kind of close. Probably not though. I should grab some trash while I can. Learn some secrets. I need scavenging. What, how much XP? Oh, we do have some skill points. And an attribute point. Um, we do have enough to take long blade dueling stance, so I will. That means ruin diving is now on the menu. Um, I would also... I have enough I should take... I wouldn't mind getting customs and folklore, but uh, I, I wouldn't mind getting wayfaring jungles is a, a going to be an important one and um i won't take rivers and lakes hills and mountains might be nice marshes is not worth it since i since i'm not taking marshes and i don't have it i think i will take canyons and hills and mountains because i never take it i like literally never take it and I'm always annoyed with canyons and hills and mountains. And, uh, you know, it'd, it'd be kind of nice to not hate an entire biome. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, nip that in the bud right now. Okay, we got no trash here. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm lost right now. Oh, discover, oh, I'm not lost. We discover Great Sawan, though. All right, let's leave, and I'm going to go here. This is the Ruins of Jopa. I know there's a mod that makes it so that Jopa doesn't get destroyed, because I understand people really like, you know, Jopa. They've gotten very attached to it, and I understand that. Um, it sucks that it becomes a ruin if you, uh, you know, don't go there. Logical. Okay, so we've got and we've learned the logical place. So that is a place I think in the canyons. No, that's a Duna Pier. That's Duna Pier. This is Kenalil. So where is the historic site that we just learned about? Oh, that might be it actually. Duna Pier Palace. Um, travel to. So what is the one that is the logical? Yeah, Dernapir Palace. Okay, so we have a couple of historic sites we could check out. It would be kind of nice to shake things up because I know I have been doing a lot of salt deserts. Um, I think one thing I would like to do before I do that historical site is uh, it would be good to do the village quest that I just got, travel to the Snapjaw Fort and drink from the farmer's in clay pitcher. Um, which would be should be easy to us now. Uh, so we want to go to what? A is it miscellaneous? Oh no, that's um that's the note we made. Uh, bu -bu 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 settlements probably Snapjaw Fort. Except I don't know which Snapjaw Fort. We know of two. We might know of more actually. Let's just double check. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so which one is the one that we care about? Uh, it won't say, so we're going to have to visit both. All right, so we'll do that on the next episode, and then we'll visit one of our historical sites, and hopefully it'll be, you know, not a, not a big deal. We'll, we'll make easy work of it since we're level 16 now. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button, and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.